Hi Libra, this is your love reading for the last week of August. This is for Libra Sun Moon Rising and also Venus since it is a love reading. It's not going to resonate for all Libras. It's not possible. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't try to force it. Just check out your other signs, your moon or your Venus for love. If you want a personal reading or if you want me to go deeper with this one, just email me everything you need in the description box below. All right, Libra, what's up? I just did Virgos and you came up a lot in their reading. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. If you are, you might want to watch theirs. Libra. Okay, so your crowning energy is the Four of Pentacles. What are you holding back from? You see this guy is holding everything close to his heart. You're holding something in, you're not expressing yourself, you're not expressing your emotions, um, your thoughts, whatever, right? In your past, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is basically a reminder that everything moves in cycles in the world. The wheel keeps turning, so you have the good and the bad, and if something is bad, it's not going to stay that way. It's constantly turning. It's constantly changing. And this is also fated events, destiny. Present, you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is basically laying down your foundation. It's also fire energy. Um, but it is moving towards stability, right? Your future, you have the Queen of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Queen of Cups is super emotional, super loving, maternal, very compassionate, right? In your outcome, you have the reverse devil. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could just be coming out of a toxic situation, coming out of some sort of addiction, um, whether it's drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever toxic behaviors you or your person may have had. Um, so I have to point out, whenever I do these readings, this could be your energy or it could be the person that is surrounding you, All right? You or your surrounding energy. So either way, it's good you're coming out of a toxic situation, toxic behaviors. I'm going to clarify the Four of Pentacles up at the top to see why you're holding back or what you're holding back. Oh, guys, okay, you got the reverse moon. It's Pisces. If you're not dealing with a Pisces, then um, the moon upright is hidden shit secrets. You don't know everything to the situation reversed. Um, maybe you just found out some secrets and now you feel like you have to hold back. Maybe you just need to step back for a little bit and keep your feelings to yourself because there was some hidden shit that you found out. I'm going to clarify that one again before we're done. Um, right now though, I want to clarify the Three of Wands in your present which is the building a stable foundation. See if we can get a card to see what sign you're dealing with that maybe you're building this foundation with. Okay. All right. So it's clarified by the four of wands, which is awesome. You see, you go from building your stable foundation to actually having your stable foundation. It's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or it's just stability. But it's awesome. 
you're right where you're supposed to be. You go from building to having it. This is also a wedding card. Clarify the Queen of Cups in your future. Wow, guys. Okay, so the King of Cups was clarified by the King of Cups. I think I said King before, but anyway, Queen. The Queen is clarified by the King. It's Sage in this deck, but it's the King. So that's an actual couple. That's a loving couple. You have an actual couple. So I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign or not, but if not, that's pretty awesome to have a king and a queen of the same energy come up in your reading in your future together. That's really, really great. And it's super loving, super emotional. Guys, this is an awesome reading. I mean, your crowning energy is not the greatest, but it looks like you come out of it really well. I'm going to clarify the devil down here, and then we will clarify that four of pentacles up there again in the moon. So the reverse devil's clarified by the lovers. It's Gemini card. Also, obviously the lovers. Everything's in balance. Um, so maybe after you come out of this period of tox, I don't know what that was behind me. Toxicity. Um, then you get to the lovers, which is where you want to be. Um, obviously, in a love reading, and to have that as your outcome with the Queen of Cups and King of Cups together in your future, that's that's really great. I don't even know what else to say about it. That's awesome. You just have to get past this, which it looks like you do. So one more up here at the top because I don't know why your crowning energy isn't matching the rest of this reading. It seems like it's fear-based because everything's fine. But it seems like it always wasn't, so now you're holding back. And that fell on the floor, so that must be the one you want. Alright, so it's clarified by justice. This is you, this is your card, right? Um, maybe something happened in the past, you found out some shit, some secrets, something was hidden. And it doesn't have to be something bad, maybe somebody was just hiding their feelings, or maybe you were. Maybe you were holding back your feelings with the Four of Pentacles. Um, but you don't always. Because this is you. This is your card. This is you being in your power. This is you being your whole self. Everything's in balance. Everything is equal and fair. So if you're holding back because you did find something out or you're afraid someone else is going to find something out, you don't have to anymore. Whatever that situation is, is past. Everything is in balance now. And your present is completely stable. Your future couldn't be more loving with these two together. Alright? So, get out of this toxic energy, which you're doing. And you have the lovers. So that's, that's a really awesome reading, Libra. Congratulations, guys.